what would the world look like to people who see slowly? Well, that's uh, something I've been wondering about. I'm a photographer, Danny Schwears, and I've been photographing a lot of things at one-third of a second. That is, the uh, camera shutter opens, and a third of a second later, it closes. Well, this doesn't make a lot of difference when the camera's held still. But when the camera moves or jiggles, or when things are moving in front of the camera, well, things get kind of blurry and uh, they overlap. Uh, so having, having taken st still photos, still photos uh, of what the world looks like at a third of a second, I wondered what it would look like if I uh, made a movie and slowed down uh, or averaged, really averaged the uh, capture rate so that you would see for yourself kind of how the world would look to somebody whose persistence of vision wasn't uh, the normal one thirtieth of a second, but instead was 10 times slower. Uh, so that's, that's what we're seeing here. Uh, this is a um, taking you a little visual journey through my house. Uh, and as you can see, when, I, when the camera stops, uh, it'll stop sometime soon, uh, things look pretty normal. But as soon as the camera stops, uh, uh, starts moving, as soon as we get movement going down these stairs, wow, everything, you know, uh, do you... Uh, and one question, is this a condition or is sometimes this a, hang a handicap? Uh, here, let's stop in front of this photo. Looks pretty normal once things, you know, stop moving. But as soon as we stop moving, uh, everything starts blurring together. Uh, and I don't know if anybody actually has this uh, condition. Uh, it would be... You know, when things are moving, it's sort of like, you you know, they're blurring. Uh, although motion blur is very different from focus blur. Uh, so I wanted you to see kind of, uh, I'm, I'm, it, this is an experiment. This is the very first video I took. And I'm, I'm very pleased that the uh, visual, I think, does communicate how things look. As you can see, I've got a lot of images of houses in our house. Uh, that one in the background is a painting uh, of our house someone did many years ago, uh, three or four decades ago. But here we here uh, here's a painting on the wall by uh, the artist James Janknet, a uh, good friend of mine. Uh, and as you see, we stop, we study things. Steady, steady. Oh, now they look normal. But as soon as we start moving, well, look how, look how overlapping things get. Uh, and actually, I think, I think this looks, the world looks pretty wonderful uh, at times when it's blurred. Here's my wife. Hi, hi there. Uh, and she's cooking some oatmeal for us. Let's take a look at the oatmeal. Yeah, it's boiling. That looks pretty normal, doesn't it? As soon as I stop moving the camera, yeah, there it is. It's boiling. Uh, looks pretty normal, but then, you know, we get these blurs as soon as I move things around. Here are the orchids uh, above our sink. Let's stop the camera. Ah, we can rest a little bit. Yeah, this is the end. Thank you for watching.